Hey everyone, today I'm here to do a review on Ninjago Dare the Party TV special that aired on Cartoon Network on October 29th. So the special starts off with that sneak peek we saw at San Diego Comic Con with the ninjas riding on their vehicles and they're trying to go to somewhere and that somewhere is revealed to be the museum. Uh, and um, there they are, uh, they meet with uh, Sensei Wu and Nisako and they go in the museum, they go around, talk about the end of the part of it, um, and what it stands for. They, then they meet Dr. Saunders, who shows them the Hall of Villainy, shows them all the villains of their past, excluding Overlord, excluding the Overlord and Nautacon, although Nautacon didn't even make appearance. Nautacon doesn't even exist, because uh, Jay fixed the time. Jay altered the timeline. Um, and after that, uh, Cole, as Dr. Saunders is showing him the museum, Cole sees um, one of the villains, he considers him a villain, Sensei Yang, who turned him into a ghost. And then he sees the yin blade, he asks Dr. Saunders what is it, and none of the ninjas, Misako, Wu, or Saunders even sees him. And then later, um, uh, the picture of Yang on the wall talks to Cole, saying, uh, close the circle call, and then later Cole sees his friends outside. So Cole's like, oh no, maybe I'm the one being departed. So Cole goes to the Air Jitsu Temple, set, tries to set, um, tries to uh, get uh, revenge on Yang, but then that activates Yang's plan. Cole releases um, magic that uh, uh, revives, somewhat revives the villains of Ninjago. So uh, only revives them for the Lunar Eclipse, uh, until they're back to statues, unless they defeat the one they need, they want to settle their debt with, and they can take the place of that person. Uh, all of them come back to life except Pythor, because Pythor is not dead. Um, Pythor joins in, he hears something about uh, revenge, they argue who should get who. Samokai chooses Jay, and then, um, yeah, I'm just following the pictures I have on here, but, um, the fight scenes are a bit short. That's my only problem. The fight scenes are a bit short. Um, and some fight scenes are plain, like Lloyd versus Pythor. That's a bit plain. Yang versus Cole. The most intense, basically. But if we're not talking about Cole, we're talking about Kai Nia. Kai Nia versus Chen. Most intense. Um, basically, uh, yeah. And then Cryptor. Um, Cryptor versus Zane is a like plain, like I said, uh, Kozu versus Darif is a bit plain, but it's kind of funny. Darif is like, oh, people are dressed as stone warriors, so, and then he, Kozu starts talking, and then Darif's like, oh no, why is it so realistic? Um, uh, I'm gonna try to cut this review short, because you guys probably already seen it from other people. So basically, after the villain, the ninjas defeat all the villains, they meet up at the museum again. Moro returns with Sensei Wu, um, saying, um, Yang has tricked Cole, and then Jay is like, Cole, how'd you get tricked? And then, um, uh, uh, one of them are like, Cole hasn't been with us, and, and then they're like, oh no, Cole's, um, Cole's hasn't been with them. So then, um, they all travel in the Destiny's Bounty, they go to the Air Jitsi Temple, where they see, uh, the rift, Yang's opening, they see Cole versus Yang, and then, yeah, and then the students of uh, Yang become human again because of the rift. And then Yang and Cole go in the rift, become human again. But then Yang reveals that one person must stay behind in the temple. So Yang chooses to stay behind. He throws Cole in the rift. Destiny Bounty kind of crashes, but then after that, they're like, is it? I mean, like, is everyone okay? And then they're like, oh no, Cole's gone. And then Jay's all sad and then... Cole comes back, and then Nia comes, as Nia says, he's like, all new, but then they share the scar, but then they don't really explain it, and then they reveal that the story, they, it's like, it happened a while back, but Cole's just telling it the story, and then Jay says, well, do you, are you gonna tell us every day the departed? And then Cole's like, so, says something, he looks inside the Air Jitsu Temple, he sees the ghost of Yang, and then, it's kind of, he kind of smiles, and then, the ending is just all the lanterns going up into Ninjago for Solomon Day of the Pardon. So yeah, I kind of missed a few details, but I talked about some of the big ones. And I might have missed one that is the Yang flashback. Where it reviews about reveals, how he turned to a ghost, and how this thing is cursed or something. I, I wouldn't say cursed, but yeah.
So basically, what do you guys think of this? I, I would give this a 9 out of 10. The one that... I'll give a 9 out of 10 missing one point because the fight scenes are a bit short. Otherwise, that story is pretty good. Um, yeah, uh, now, hand, now, so yeah, um, hands of time 2017, let's go. Uh, tell me in the comments section below what are your guys' thoughts on Day of the Departed, and if you thought you could do one, if you could, like, fix one thing about Day of the Departed, or how would you make it better, tell me in the comments section below, or what was your favorite part. So yeah, see you guys next time.